This particular reptile may make you squirm, but oftentimes he's the victim of misidentification. Give me a hand here real quick. The prairie king snake can be mistaken for a copperhead, one of only two venomous snakes in northeast Missouri. But even the venomous copperhead and timber rattlesnake won't bite unless they're threatened. Snakes are very beneficial to farmers and everyone else. Um, People get cats to get rid of their mice and put them in barns and stuff, but yet they'll kill a snake if they see it in their barns. And the snakes are actually better mousers. And if you're not convinced to switch from cats to snakes yet, think of all the money you could save. Mice and rats cause billions of damage to farmers every year, getting into grain bins and getting into people's houses and tearing things up and stuff like that. And snakes are ideal. Of course, snakes, like any wild animal, need to be kept at a distance. Any snake will bite you if you try and pick it up. It's just its common nature. It thinks you're going to hurt it, so its natural reaction is to try and bite. Venomous snake bites are rarely fatal, but can swell and be extremely painful. That's why conservation officers were sure to show kids how to safely identify a venomous snake. You can kind of look at your thumb, and you'll see that the head of the snake is very similar to the shape of your thumb. If you look at the venomous snakes, of course they have the venom glands on top of their head, and as a result they'll have a large triangular head and a very small neck. Most likely, the snakes you see are the non-venomous variety, such as the prairie king snake, black rat snake, and garter snake. Chrissy Mueller, KHQA News, Center, Missouri.